Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. We're excited to be sharing the release video for 702, Current Wear's latest release. Today is September 26, 2022. Uh, we're gonna go over some exciting new updates with audit logs, updates to our dashboards, and some group productivity changes that we've made that we're really excited about. My name is Ryan. I lead the sales and account management team, and I'm here with Michael, who is one of our senior technical specialists who will be helping me with a demo today. Hey, everyone. So version 702, as I mentioned, was released on September 26th. Tons of features that we updated, lots of stuff beyond this, but uh, from a headline standpoint and things that we want to show you today, one of the coolest changes is some things we've updated in Access Patrol to now allow two-way file blocking. Uh, we've created an allowed list to basically allow you to block and allow certain files, groups of files and file types, file extensions, and then also prevent, um, detect and restrict, you know, a renamed file that was previously blocked from being allowed, you know, based on looking into um, the file extension type. Browse Reporter, we've also done some cool things with the dashboards to update the drill down to just give you more visibility and details on website, application, and category, as well as productivity grading. We heard you loud and clear. Now uh, you can group websites and applications as productive or unproductive at an individual user or role or AD group level, which is going to give you added clarity into you know, efficiency and effectiveness and productivity of different departments within your organization rather than the company as a whole. Uh, and some new security features that we're really excited about uh, is creating an audit log to basically view a log of all changes and updates and activity made within the console, depending on whether you're an admin or an individual user. So there's a ton more that we've uh, we've done in this release, but Mike's going to jump into a demo and show you these three. Hey, everyone. Here we go. We're going to hop into some of the new features. First one we're going to look at is Access Patrol. Let's go to the triple dot drop down and look at the block file transfers. Previously, you did have the ability to block file transfers. It wasn't two-way. Now you have the ability to block files going uh, to and from devices, um, either your local device or to a, a storage device. You do have that ability to still enter a file name or extension with the enable block list. The new portion of the block file transfers as well is the allow list. Essentially here you're choosing specific files that you want your users to be able to move. Outside of those files, everything else is going to be blocked. As Ryan had mentioned, we did do some changes on the back end to how files are actually read prior to being moved. Um, this will make it more secure if anyone is trying to manipulate or change file extensions to ensure that only the allowed files are getting moved. The next feature we're going to look at is our browse reporter dashboard. Here you'll be able to see we've got a couple new drill downs that you can go right into and get a lot more information. A lot of uh, quality of life updates here. So first one you'll see is websites. You can drill right into websites, see who's using those websites, get time metrics for the overall usage. Second one would be the applications. If there's a specific application that you want to see which one of your users are spending time on, you're very easily able just to click in, come in here, get a rundown of your users that are using it, and then also see the total overall usage within your organization. This is really good for um, other paid third-party softwares where potentially the license counts are costing your organization a fair amount of money and your users are pretty reluctant to give it up. If you see only a small portion of your users are actually using it on a regular basis, it might be a good argument to be able to save some cost on that end. The third one, would be the ability to drill right down into the um, actual categories of websites. So here, let's look, take a look at technology and computers. Here we can see same type of rundown with all my users, how much time has been spent in the overall usage. The last feature, continuing with our audit logs and security and compliance logs that have been highly requested, we have the new audit log, which will allow you to go in and see if any of your admins or your users have made any changes or run any reports within the console. You'll see in this drop down, there's a bunch of selections. So you'll be able to see settings if anyone makes any setting changes, run any logs, make any changes within Access Patrol or view any reports. If there's any changes to the URL or the category list, you're very easily able to see what URLs or categories have been changed and who did it. 
Same with browser border. You can see if anyone's viewing any reports or visiting any dashboard pages. And then if anyone is deleting or moving around any of your users. That's the key features that were added in 702. Looking forward to your feedback. It's exciting stuff, Mike. And uh, there's a ton more stuff that we've updated. We've only chosen to highlight these three today, but stay tuned to the release notes and they'll be linked below.